Uh, not done by... Because uh, it premiered in England. I, I don't think it's an American uh, company that put the movie together. I don't know who the actors and uh, actresses are. But it looks to be... I just saw the trailer. Who, what's the one actress? Well, Sh- Shia LaBeouf plays John McEnroe. And who is Shia LaBeouf? I've heard the name. I, what, give me a movie he's been in. He was in the Transformer movies. Didn't see it. I must have missed that. I he's apologize. pretty well known. Anyway, well, I don't know who he is. But he plays McEnroe. And I don't know who plays Borg. Looks exactly like him. But it's about... Uh, the movie's called Borg McEnroe. It comes out in April. And it's about the 80 Wimbledon final in which Borg won 8-6 in the fifth. And it looks to be, it got great reviews. Won all sorts of awards at film festivals in Europe, did it not, Cully? Uh, with Tor- Rome and somewhere else, right? We were just looking at it. And everybody in England likes it. And, you know, the best tennis movie ever made, blah, 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 dee, 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 dee. So uh, that will be one that I will get a complete kick out of. Now, McEnroe, um, right, oh, here, here's the question. All right, the new Borg McEnroe From movie. From September, by the way. So in, it was released in September. Oh, there. In, okay, in September. The new Borg McEnroe movie enjoyed its general release in the UK on Friday. And John McEnroe delivered a typically withering critique of its inaccuracies. All right. The problem, McEnroe said, was that the scriptwriters had invented imaginary stories to make him look like a jerk. Well, I mean, you know, at times McEnroe was, to use his own phrase, when there were plenty of real ones that it would have done the job perfectly well. Oh, in other words, they made up things. And he says you could pick the real ones. Here's the quote. Unfortunately, even though I wished it was a good movie, I don't think it is a good movie. I'm sad to say, said McEnroe. This is, oh, this came out, uh, this is what he said uh, in Prague in the fall. A lot of it is not accurate. I mean, I don't know why they couldn't make it accurate. They made up some stuff. There is plenty of stuff. If they wanted to make me look like a jerk at times, they could have come up with something far better than, than, than what they came up with in my humble estimation. Wow. That's a good quote. I'll be into that. Now, at least McEnroe admits that at times he was a tough guy to deal with. Uh, to me, it uh, you know, if you did not depict the particular episodes properly, is that the point, or is it to depict the fact that McEnroe was a pain in the neck? Which one is it? And I love Mac, but you know, he was a little tough sometimes. Maybe he'd be the first. He just told you he'd be the first to admit. Anyway, I guess that's going to be released in the United States soon. Is that the deal? Uh, April, huh? That's going to be released in the United States, and it did get good reviews. Did it not? Seems like it got great reviews. Mac didn't like it. Anyway. Uh, oh, Line 9 saw it. Now, how did he see it? John in Ohio. Let's find out. John, good afternoon. How are you today, pal? What do you have for me? Great. How are you? Fine, Johnny. Thank you. Let me hear now. You saw this movie. Yeah, it opened the Toronto Film Festival, and I'm uh, pretty much a movie critic. I've been doing it for years. Oh, so. interesting. So you're a movie critic yeah. who is there in Toronto. I right, fill me in. Let me hear. Yeah. Well, it's a good movie. You know, it's not great. And, you know, opening night movies are supposed to be entertaining, and it was. I'm not so sure the people who weren't tennis fans enjoyed it as much as I did. But you know, I'm a sports junkie, so. So, from a tennis <laughs> from a tennis perspective, you like you liked it from a tennis perspective. Yeah, absolutely. It was well edited. I mean, it was very intense. The, the tennis was very intense. And honestly, the way they portrayed both characters, you know, Mac and LaBeouf doesn't really look like Mac and Roe. But he had the same mannerisms. And interestingly, you don't know him, but I've interviewed him a couple of times. He's a a wild man, but then other times he's a nice guy. So he's very erratic. I uh, if, like, if you interest like McEnroe, if yeah. if, if you were McEnroe, would you be annoyed about the portrayal, or was it pretty fair? I didn't know. I I thought it was pretty fair. You know, his father was very sympathetic. His father was a character in the movie, too. And, and the, like, as you say, honestly, I don't remember the, the actor's name. He's a Swedish guy. Oh, it's he looks a, exactly like Borg. It's, exactly yeah, like it's, Yes, he does. And it's a Swedish production. So Sweden and England got together and made this movie. And you're correct, it does open in April. And honestly, I don't know who's going to go see it if you're not a tennis fan. But it is a very well-done film. All right, you know. now, did you see Battle of the Sexes? Yes, I did. And Battle of the yeah, Sexes that, was a good movie. By the way, that, movie. by the way, yeah, by the way, that was also in Toronto. I mean, if you go to the Toronto Film Festival, you're going to see everything. Shape of Water was there. Three Billboards were there. All the just about every Dunkirk, 
in 3D was there. I had seen it previously. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, you wa- hopefully you walked out on t- on time number two. No, but, no, no. <laughs> I, Honestly, I, I, that, I that disagree. Mo- I disagree with you on a lot of your movies. Oh, really? But, wow, I'm but surprised. On, but on sports, you're right on. So, well, we we yeah, the shape, you like Shape of the Water? You thought that was a good movie? Yeah, I did. But you know, you're not. You're, you got. You, I know you're not going to see it. But you should see it because it's really a lot more than a than a monster in a bathtub. I, I, mean, I can't, it's a I can't thriller. Get it. It's, I a, can't get it's it. a Cold War thing, but you know. But the, anyway. the, the, the bottom line is, the, uh, our audience that likes sports, they will like this movie, correct? Certainly, yeah. Sure. Uh, do you know? It's any, very, do you, it's very, do you know? Ahead. Do you know anything about that final, John, or not? Well, I I didn't remember it. Because I'm not that big, you know. I pay attention to the to the Grand Slam, and that's about it when it comes to tennis. Well, that was eight, not, that, that but, was but 18, not a, Go ahead, you first. But I'm not a, I'm not a tennis historian, so I I kind of remembered what happened, uh, but the fact that I didn't remember what happened, I think helped, you know, helped me like or enjoy the movie. All right, you did know, the, people, you know, did the so audience did the audience like the movie? Oh, uh, the audience gave a standing ovation. But I should say, just about every movie shown in this Roy Thompson Hall in, in Toronto, people up there love movies, and if you know, you, it, it brings money to the city. It's a great festival. Uh, uh, now, movie. listen, I know it's tricky to do this because I'm doing it top of your head, uh, just so th- just to see how different we are. Give me a give me a what's your last name, John? May I ask? Uh, no, don't no, tell no, me. No, right, no, well, no. what is your? Give me a top five, top ten movie thing, so we can see how different we are. Go ahead, let me hear. Of all time? Well, I mean, the last thirty, forty years. I mean, just just uh, give me. Well, I mean, just give me well, five I, movies I heard, that you love. I I heard what you said the other day, and I agree. Goodfellas, The Godfather. Uh, one that you didn't mention. One One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Yeah, I didn't love that. Good movie, but I didn't yeah, love it. I, yeah, I don't put yeah. both. I can't put two mob movies in there. I only can do one. I, I can't do I two. See, I see. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. So I'm not like, a big. I'm not a big Woody Allen guy, so he's not going to have. I agree. Movie. I wouldn't put him in there either. Yeah. How about Shawshank? One of the first. Eh, Shawshank, I think, is a little overrated. Oh, really? You know? well, we got a I think the there. guy's a great guy's a great director, but that was a little slow. Oh, I loved it. Oh God. All right, what yeah. else? Go ahead. Uh, oh, you're going to hate me for this one, but, and I think one, this is one of the first movies I ever reviewed, Terms of Endearment. I Not a bad movie. Of, I don't think it, it won yeah. the Oscar. I don't think it's yeah, great. It did. Great. It did. All right, yeah. what, what else? Go ahead. How about Jaws? Maybe, How about Jaws? Oh, Jaws is, Jaws is the best. Oh, so you the like best that. thriller of all time. Uh, yeah. Rocky. Yeah. Yeah, Rocky was really good. All right, Rocky so you're like, we're not terrific. that f- so we're not that far yeah. off. Just because you no, want to go know. see, a, just because you want to go see a lady with a monster in a bathtub. Well, but I have to, off. I have to go. So you know, I have to see them all. <laughs> but you know, I really liked it, and I like Three Billboards. I think a lot more than you do. I too, like so. Three Billboards, but there's no closure in Three Billboards. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I that's get the, it. That's Sometimes the, that's I scary. want closure. You're gonna give me two and a half yeah. hours of rotten language and a rough case. You gotta end it with some closure. They gave me no closure. I'm not interested yeah. in Sam Rockwell and Francis Donald, whatever his name is, driving You're Oregon. Wrong, I, I'm not interested. Yeah. <laughs> you got to give me some closure. And, all right, well, what, and you like Dunkirk, that piece of garbage. Yeah, but see, you can't call that a... Uh, you know, I mean, in years from now, people are going to be calling it a masterpiece. Oh, and you're, calling it a, you're calling it a piece of garbage. Uh, it's not, you know? it's a but I will thing. tell you this. I will tell you this. If, if, if Dunkirk and, and Darkest Hour weren't released the same year... One of the two might have won Best Picture. I think both of them took away from the other. I think Dunkirk was better than Darkest Hour, except for Golden uh, Gary Oldman's portrayal. You know, Dunkirk was another kind See, of a See, Dun- Dunkirk you know? is about an event. It's not about the characters. The right. Darkest Hour is about an event and the characters. That's yes, why it's a better yeah. movie. That's why it's a better movie. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, you're going uh, to... You didn't say this because I know you're, I, you know, my politics are like all over the place. But but I thought Dunkirk, or excuse me, Darkest Hour was trying to portray Churchill as kind of a Trump of his times before before the war. Yeah, nobody liked the guy. Nobody liked the guy. Everybody, you know. I didn't sense that. Him be, I, I, you know, that's, but, but that's reality, though. You know, he, nobody yeah. did like him. That, that's, I right. mean, um I, I didn't sense that the Trump thing. I, I didn't sense that. Um, but I did. I, I had, you know, I had a big problem with Churchill. 
in that movie, Darkest Hour. I couldn't understand mm-hmm. it. The dialogue yeah, was, too. I can't understand me it. Too. And, I, and I saw him in this Roy Thompson Hall, which is a big concert venue in Toronto, downtown Toronto, and it's like over 3,000 seats, and the acoustics are bad. And then they show the movie in there, and it, it makes it, you know. Oh, impossible. impossible. That, yeah, All right, so, yeah. we have, so Borg McEnroe, you liked, you liked, and I, would, and I would think I would like it, correct? Yes, yes, I think, I think you would love it. I think you'll love it. All right. John, it's a good job. Let me hear from you again. Well, well done. Good to start I, the oh, show. Oh, I will. All, All right. right, thank you. Take Bye. care. There you go. So we start the movie with something a little different today. Hey, what the hell? Sports talk. I've been doing this for 40 years. I want to do Borg McEnroe. I'll do it. Nobody's going to say anything, right? Say something funny, Ed. Eddie tried to get Bob Lanier today, and I told Eddie, because St. Bonnie's, and Mark Schmidt, the head coach, praised Lanier at uh, postgame last night. And I said, why don't you track down Lanier? I he didn't know me, and, you know, I used to, uh, Bob Lanier and I were buddies. This is 25 years ago. So Eddie calls up Bob Lanier. He couldn't be more disinterested and wouldn't know Chris Russo from Mike Francesa. What a disaster. Is that correct? Hundred percent. If you had showed up at his front door, he wouldn't have answered it. Uh, he was he, he wanted no part of this today, <laughs> which I was shocked. I am too. All right. Um, what is your name again? Jacob Wilkins has a sports bite. Half past on Mad Dog Gun.